Hi Gemini, welcome into your monthly money and career tarot reading for the month of April 2023. I do want to thank you so much for joining me for this reading, for your amazing presence. But do keep in mind as we proceed, it is general for your month as a whole. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And I more than appreciate your love and support, your, the likes, the comments, and of course subscriptions to the channel if you haven't done so already. But as well, uh, once you finish with this reading, do remember to check out your other placements within your individual chart as I continue to post all 12 signs. Now, the overall message I got for you for your month, money, money, money. There's so much success ahead. Amazing. I do feel like this is a month where you're being um, pushed to take steps in the right direction for you. However, that looks uh, for your individual situation, uh, being pushed to assess, to reconsider, um, or just simply trust your intuition in regards to what's going to work out best for you. But I don't feel like there's a shortage of effort being put forth towards making more money. Now, I do feel like there's the potential for um, opportunities to make more money popping up left and right. Um, staying busy is what I'm hearing. I do feel as if a lot drawn to the reading are recognizing uh, that they made or remembering they made the right choice. What does that look like for you? Did you leave a job behind? Did you decide to close down a business or begin a business? Did you decide to uh, move to a different place of residence um, or invest your money here or there or choose not to? It feels like for some it's more than one thing for you, but it, either way you made the right choice. Um, and this feels like it's leading you towards more comfort and or making more money or saving more money. Um, I'm hearing the word lucrative for Gemini, money and career oracle. We have the crown card. I do get a very confident vibe about you, but I do feel like a lot drawn to the reading are being spiritually messed with. All right. And energy is affecting you. Um, but I do feel as if this is minor in the larger uh, picture, when it comes to the larger picture, if you were to take a step back, at times you may feel the need to or be pushed to take a step back because you're so zoned in on the details or the frustrations or the imperfections of where you're living and or working and spirits saying it's, it's going to need to improve moving forward or you'll need to make a switch up if that uh, applies to your situation. But it feels like there's financial growth throughout the month and this is gratifying in of itself. I do feel like with the tree, there's spiritual replenishment needed uh, throughout the month at certain points. Your connections to nature may take a highlight. But I also feel like um, kind of getting like a family tree in a sense. Um, you might feel very connected to certain people that you're working with and are living with. But also there's thoughts of or a push to uh, observe, remember all the career situations you've acquired and left behind um, or just saw come to an end, come to be and come to an end um, and how this is playing into what you have at hand or you're stepping into, right? A feeling of things just kind of building up and helping you to succeed throughout the month and make more money. But I do feel the need to say money isn't the only form of abundance you're receiving throughout the month. It's just a big part of it, okay? Um, it's essential, right? To live, to prosper, to see more for oneself moving forward. But I also feel like there's going to be more savings uh, put aside by the end of the month, even if you choose to do some frivolous spending, if I could even say it. Um, it, it feels like you're going to have more in your savings than you did at the beginning of April when it comes to the end. Um, but overcoming obstacles, uh, power play, to go back to the crown card, wealth. Wealth. Spirit's saying there's more uh, to being wealthy than just being financially stable and having more than enough. But I do feel like you're being reminded, being drawn to this reading, and I believe this came up in March's reading. Uh, you're reading for March. You're meant for a wealthy future, all right? A, a sense of you kind of carrying oneself at certain points or the whole month, uh, the whole month in a very royal chin held high manner. It's like, I do what I do and I do it well. I've been through a lot. I acquired this position and now I'm going to kill it right in a positive sense. Um, it just feels like you are succeeding left and right throughout the month, but dealing with certain obstacles, say noise factors at home and or at work, especially if you work from home, um, one of not multiple people of importance, but annoyance or just annoyance if they're not of importance. Um, and again, that could be at work uh, or when it comes to your business. I do feel like you are going to um, get a, a thought at a certain point from spirit in regards to a new business idea for some. It could be more in regards to how to expand what you're working on or what you're continuing. It could be in regards to 
how to make the best out of where you're at. Interesting. Some of you do feel the need to switch things up moving forward, whether it's where you live and or you, where you work. Um, but it doesn't feel like, uh, again, you have the opportunity in front of you throughout the month or it feels like you're preparing for that moving forward. I feel like we already said that, but it came out for a reason. All right. Steady income, organizing and accomplishments. Beautiful. Um, a picture perfect opportunity for you. What does that look like? Again, that's going to be different for everybody, but you might be pushed to imagine this to maybe solidify in one's mind in regards to how that looks. And so therefore spirit can help you move towards, take steps towards seeing that come to be for you in a sense that you are manifesting more efficiently than you realize or remember at times. So to positively, optimistically envision whatever this is for you and potentially the future of a situation, uh, some improvements uh, per se, um, this will be productive in and of itself, but a lot of accomplishments. And I need to organize at certain points. It could be part of your job. It could be uh, more so just needing to keep your mind clear as far as uh, processing, accomplishing, um, overcoming, and not letting things get the best of you. Um, but let's continue. So I do feel like there's a point where even if you have savings building up, you might dip into it for one reason or another. Um, but I do feel like there's an investment moving forward that's going to entail you taking a big chunk or a significant chunk out of that savings, but it will improve your life for the better. For Gemini, just continue from the small deck. Making a difference. How are you making a difference? Do you desire to make more of a difference? I feel like for some of you, this could be applying to how things are run. You could be helping people out through your work, at work, both. Um, it could be more so you thinking about how to improve things moving forward uh, more so. What else do we have? I'm getting, getting good karma. You might want to watch Aquarius' reading. Um, a feeling of things coming back to help you out because you helped that person or those people or you've been making a difference in certain other ways. But I do feel like this is also helping you make more money in one way, shape, or form. Beautiful. Um, so it always pays... Uh, pay, how am I trying to word this? It always um, works in, to your advantage in the end to help others. Amazing struggle so there might be moments in the month where you're struggling at certain points but i do feel like there's a need to just laugh it off um, and not let it get the best of you money on the mind and confident success i mean we did talk about your confidence your royalty your energy when it came to the crown card but a feeling of your confidence adding to the quality of your work um, and the believability is what i'm getting the accuracy all the meanwhile um, or at least leaving people to um, give you a chance you might be an online tarot reader. I'm just going to put that out there. But look at that life-changing success. Beautiful. Um, and I do feel like either way, your mind is being put to use to gain more money, to see something grow for some, to succeed either way. Um, and it feels like your confidence is even growing throughout the month in regards to what you're capable of, how good you are, what you do. Um, if you do have to interview or choose to interview for a new position or a new opportunity, or there's another meeting or several of importance on point, on point, it's this feeling of you not really needing to overdo it. And it just kind of goes well for you. But I mean, this ties into the overall message where money is three times in the overall message, um, horribly put, but it's on your mind, period. How do I make more? Um, how do I save more? Some of which need to maybe adjust your, okay, online spending is what I'm getting specifically, um, but spending habits in general. Are we over consuming, overspending? Um, where can I adjust to save more? You'll thank yourself in the end. A couple more before we move on to the tarot. Okay, or a few more, making the best career advancement and beyond a talented Look at that. You're manifesting more, my friend, not just money. All right. Keep that in mind. But I do feel like, again, you're making the best for a lot drawn to the reading in regards to uh, work and or at home. But it feels like all the meanwhile, it may not be a situation that you see ending or isn't horrible, but you still have to make the best at certain points. There's certain ways about how it, that uh, business or um, that company is run, that department, 
um, or it could be who you were working with and or living with. It could be in regards to your habits, as my voice goes a bit high, but I do feel like you're beyond talented either way and this is helping you succeed to the furthest extent. But I do feel like this is not the most successful month for you throughout 2023. Not to say it isn't successful, but it feels like the upcoming months are gonna feel even more uh, rewarding. Let's just put it that way. But I do feel like for some of you, this career advancement, now this could be in regards to a door opening once again um, within that same company, that same department, or a switch to another department of more importance or just um, where you can more so show off your talent or a different talent or multiple. Could be uh, in regards to an expansion for your business. I do feel like you're very creative throughout the month, but very logical, very analytical, tapping into that side of you and just putting it to use. It's like, I have this creative solution, this creative idea. I'm feeling very creatively driven, but how do I logically apply it? <laughs> okay, that's the, that's the vibe, if I could even speak. Um, but let's pull some tarot. Wow, I'm busy is what I'm hearing. Wow, I'm busy, but it will pay off in the end. But also try not to overwork yourself if, if you can, um, if you have that option. You're, it's within your control is what I'm hearing. So there may be thoughts of what is actually in your control. Again, if I could speak and what's not in your control, but the strength card, a strength about how you produce, develop, how people are viewing you. If you look, there's an infinity symbol on the top of her head. A reminder throughout the month that the possibilities are endless for you. Um, you might have very angelic energy being drawn to this reading, kind of viewing that as, as a halo, but a focus on your spirituality for some. Now, I also feel like there's a vibe where uh, you're thinking about how you're perceived online for some, could be more in regards to your business, um, at work, uh, who you live with, uh, when people are noticing you out and about, running errands or just migrating. Um, or just uh, going through some frivolous spending is what I'm hearing. Um, but I also feel like you need to rediscover your strength. Okay, however that comes to be for you, um, apply it as you may. But you might need to heal is what I'm getting, right? A Kind of a lack of strength at certain points and needing to sort of uh, push through or just take time for oneself and heal so you can then produce, accomplish more efficiently moving forward or throughout that day. I'm also hearing your work week will feel long. It will feel long. What else do we have for Gemini? The Five of Cups. There's a situation, if not multiple, where you're expecting the worst. Um, it may be in regards to your money, even though you're making a lot. But look at this. Allow for, that was very interesting, how it just spun um, on the table and as it ended up in the reverse position. But the Six of Pentacles uh, was what I was going to show. And that's why this came in into the reverse position. <laughs> I can't speak in your reading. Um, a sense of abundance, this money flowing in, gaining more than you expect, and now you can expect the best, or at least more so. There's a need to keep things optimistic. Once again, you're manifesting and um, we don't want you to be manifesting um, any sense of lack moving forward, right? Or just what you fear or expect in a negative sense. Nobody's perfect. Um, I should have taken the um, the Six of Pentacles, but look at that. I'm now seeing the Five of Cups and the Two of Cups. So there could be a connection or somebody, or when two people get together at work, I wanna say, um, or several people, and this just brings bad vibes, or you just have seen uh, or overheard something they're saying of importance, but that wasn't really uh, amazing. Okay, that's just gonna put it that way. I heard the word disheartening, um, but it feels like you are learning more throughout the month. Could be in regards to what you're capable of, your talent, if not multiple, you could be learning more about what you could actually accomplish moving forward. Uh, this could be training for some, even if you've been at that position for a while. Um, but I also sense that you could be teaching a feeling that it's a month where you're tapping into utilizing that ability to be a, a leader, a teacher, right? Informing people, uh, even if that's um, different in comparison to how somebody else does it. Okay. Uh, but I also feel like there's moments where you do need to adjust and adapt and tap into be okay with uh, being the student learning once again. We can always uh, learn more is what I'm getting. You might be a teacher being drawn to this reading. 
Some of you might be thinking about how to step into an authority uh, position or just how to succeed more moving forward once again. Okay, <laughs> wow. Um, the King of Swords. I do feel as if there's a wise way about you, a knowledgeable way about how you're accomplishing, um, proceeding. Again, I'm kind of an emperor vibe is what I'm getting. Um, thinking about where to put your next game piece, uh, very logical once again, and producing, developing in a very uh, strategic, wise way, but don't overthink. Because the King of Swords reminds us that uh, your past does highlight certain moments where you over we're overthinking, right? And this didn't help you with the end results or uh, your future all the meanwhile. Does that make sense? Just a slight side note, but look at this. Being noticed for your independent vibes with the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. A lot of pentacle energy, and I do feel like you are needing to recognize um, whatever you feel intuitively guided to step into to give birth to with the Empress card on point. Trust your intuition. It's quite heightened at this time, but with the noise in the background because they didn't close the window, again, I feel like there's noise factors. Um, but everything's going to get done when it's meant to, how it's meant to. And I feel like there's even benefits from when you have to cope with certain distractions and or annoyances. Um, but again, you're being noticed for how independent you are, how strong you are, um, and how good looking you are, I want to say. Uh, this might even add to the success that you're gaining. Um, or what you're working towards seeing successful for you individually. Beautiful. Um, but I do feel like if you work online or you choose to put yourself out there on social media in one way, shape, or form, that is going to be very successful, okay? Even if that's not your main gig or, your, uh, yeah, your main career situation. Um, people of importance might notice you, but the world card, it feels like a world uh, evolution kind of month for you where you gain success here and there, you gain this money flowing in due to it all and other levels of growth and attention and it just changes your world for the better. But I do feel like you're being reminded your world is in your control. They're showing me the two of wands in the light series deck where there's a gentleman holding a small globe, okay? It's in your hands, it's in your control your grasp. So what do you want to do with it? What do you want to change moving forward? How do you foresee things looking for you to make uh, your life as a whole more ideal? Okay, so change or the potential of which being written all over this reading. But I was being guided to, okay, look up the spiritual meaning of an eagle. Um, this uh, outer part here, I don't know which way it's going to be looking for, um, for your view. But there's a sense of completion coming to mind from the past, uh, one if not multiple tower moments or the things you chose to um, to end. Um, and a spirit saying, again, if you do desire something to come to, to an end um, and something else to come to be moving forward, it'll come to be, an, uh, that will happen when it's meant to, divine timing. You might find that there's certain moments where you just space out when you're at work and or at home. Um, and I feel like this is reminding you to take care of oneself, okay? Um, the Nine of Wands, because I do feel like there are times where a spirit's reminding you, or even your own depletion is reminding you, okay? Or the, even the struggles at times, because you're so overly tired or just lacking the resources to continue uh, efficiently. You can't overwork oneself, right? Um, or stay busy 24-7. You're not an energizer bunny and need to re-implement levels of balance through it all. Okay, you're only human. Very impressive is now what I'm hearing. Very impressive. What else we have for Gemini? Um, the King of Wands. So I do feel I need to pair this with the other king you got out of all four. Um passionate okay passionate and intelligent that's the vibe it feels like people will notice you in the right light however um there may be one if not multiple people that feel the need to criticize especially if you're putting yourself online it's going to happen it happens to me um but as well i do feel like this could be in the work environment um somebody might mean to say something uh, in one way but it comes out or is perceived more negatively I'm getting that specifically for some drawn to the reading um, you might be dealing with certain stresses at work and or at home that do remind you or inform you is what I'm hearing that you do need to make a change moving forward 
Um, what else do we have? I'm also getting a lot in your plate, a lot on your plate. A Leo might come into play uh, at work and or at home. You might have Leo in your chart, so you might wanna watch that reading. But look at this. The Six of Pentacles coming out a second time in your reading, a second time. That is a good sign for you. Look up the ancient number meaning of 662. I wasn't gonna say that, but um, I just got that. The Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, beautiful. Abundance uh, in more than one form, once again, not just money, but that being a huge part of you stepping towards this fulfillment, this happily ever after. Something more ideal for you if you have multiple situations. This month reminds you that you deserve the best, period. Because you're the best of the best and you deserve to live a life that's uh, comfortable, fulfilling, and makes you happy period. So in a larger sense, that also reminds you to only associate oneself with people, places, and situations that add to that peace and happiness that you deserve, right? Um, and so that could also be a reminder when you're at work and or at home to be strategic in that sense as well uh, when it comes to who to steer clear of. Should I actually be in this conversation? Do I need to tap into that ability to uh, politely smoothly end this conversation because it's going nowhere good and or it's just not adding to my uh, comfort right now um, or I just need to get back to work but it feels like all the meanwhile you are being reminded once again this is a month that's very successful where you're being pushed towards um, this ten of cups for you however that looks uh, for you individually it's a month where it's weird saying money 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 there's so much success ahead all right so i hope this was truly helpful sending you so much love and light go enjoy your month and i'll definitely see you next time